What's up you guys, it's Brennan here. I'm gonna show you um, what I think is the most important exercise to practice as a pianist, whether you're a beginner or you're intermediate or you're advanced. Um, I've been playing piano for 16 years now um, and I'll still do this exercise to practice um, because it teaches your hands to be really fluid and move easily on the piano um, and it's just all around good for practicing. So what that is, is I'm going to show you how to do different arpeggios on the piano. What that means is it's a broken chord. A chord is a group of notes played at the same time like this. That's a chord you were to play a broken chord, that means you would take that and you would play it on its own, like this. Instead of. Now, if you do that all up and down the piano, you can practice playing different notes and learning to be fluid with it. So here's an example with C. Is the classic arpeggio. You play the C in the left hand, C in the right hand, cross over and play C. Now if you've seen my video on how a piano works, you know that it repeats all up and down the piano. And what I mean by that is a C down here is the same as a C up here here. The only difference is that it's higher and lower in pitch. So if you were to take the same chord see how it's the same but it's higher and lower? Now say you were to do an arpeggio a broken chord all up and down the piano. Let me show you what that sounds like. So what I want you to do first is if you're not familiar with arpeggios, I want you to just practice with one chord right now. So take C like I was doing. Practice that for 10 minutes a day. Just that one. All right, that's your homework. Now, once you do that, say you get really comfortable, you can play it all up and down the piano. Then, what you can do is you can change your chord. So instead of doing C all the way up and down the piano, you, you go from there and you move to another chord. So let's take F. That's an F chord, right? So what you're going to do now, you're going to take the C arpeggio. Get to the last note here, you're going to move down to F. So it would sound like this. Once you have that mastered, I want you to practice going from C all over the piano to F all over the piano. So it would sound like this. So practice that 
and do that for 10 minutes a day for a month and tell me that your piano won't improve. I'm telling you, if you practice that, you will learn to be more fluid on the piano. You'll become more familiar with the different keys, higher and lower on the piano, and you're gonna be making beautiful music. I mean, that, that already sounds like a beautiful song. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Hey guys, if you like this video, there's a lot more where that came from. If you subscribe to my channel, this is my cat and he's eating a cat treat because I wanted him for clickbait. Smile. Okay.